Hello, hi, welcome to my channel. Today is November 1st, which means first and foremost that I need to wish you a happy World Vegan Day. Today I will be celebrating with lots of delicious vegan food, starting off with a decaf almond milk latte. Yes, decaf, I don't like caffeine very much. First day of NaNoWriMo. I'm going to be vlogging this experience. I am, of course, shooting for 50,000 this month. It would be sweet if I could write more than that, but each year that I have participated in NaNoWriMo, while I have won, I have always struggled to win. I've always struggled to hit 50K. So I'm planning on shooting for 50K. If I can go over 50K this month, that would be fantastic. I am starting the second book in my Song of the Dryad World, which let me show you that real fast. If you don't already know, or if you're new here, I wrote a book and it's called Song of the Dryad and it's a young adult fantasy. It came out October 20th this past month and it's available now on Barnes & Noble, Amazon, iBooks, Books A Million, and other major book retailers. What am I going to be tackling today? So since it's the first day of NaNoWriMo, I have a lot of energy. I'm very excited moving forward. I also have a rare day where I don't have much pet sitting. Greg and I went on a pet sitting visit this morning and then tonight Greg is going to do the second visit so that I can write. So I have a relatively open day which is rare and I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to write as much as I can today and then this evening at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time which is 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, my time, I will be hosting a NaNoWriMo like write-in, author tube write-in live stream with Brooke Passmore and Mandy Lynn. But of course, by the time you see this, it will already have passed. So we'll see how that goes. But because today is a full day of writing, I am aiming to get at least 5K today. If I could get more than that, fantastic, because starting off strong is really important to me. I know that there are going to be days when I don't want to write. I know that there are going to be days that I miss and I don't write at all. So it's good for me to get as many words in as possible on day one. So that's what I'm aiming for. We're gonna go for 5K at least. That is my minimum word count goal for the day. So I'm almost done with my coffee. I've been sipping on it for a while. I have not yet started writing. Let's dive into some writing and see how this goes, shall we? All right, this is it. I have the window open so it stays cool in here. I've got some music on. I've got my outline. It's time to write. Let's do this. Okay, so I just finished the first scene in my new novel. I had a really good time with it. I do find myself feeling so much closer to the characters I'm writing because, um, for example, Charlotte is my main character in Song of the Dryad, right? And this first scene that I just wrote, I don't want to give away too much about this story because again, I'm not sure how it's going to play out and what it's going to become but Charlotte was the focus of this first scene, this transition into the new novel. And it's nice because I know her so well now. And there are a lot of brand new characters that I'm going to have to develop in this book, but Charlotte is a character that I know extremely well. I've spent a lot of time with her, so being able to kind of ease into this new book with a scene featuring Charlotte was really nice, and it just felt comforting, like to be back in the Barclay household and knowing it so well because I, you know, I just created it in Song of the Dryad. So that feels very comforting. Uh, I've never written a sequel before. I've never written a companion novel before. You know, I've never done anything like this. So it'll be a really new experience, but so far so good. Okay, I'm currently sitting at 525 words. So what I'm going to do now is write the second scene of chapter one and then uh, probably go get a little snack and get something to drink. So let's jump back into it. This second scene is going to be harder to write because Charlotte is not in this second scene. There's going to be a new character that I'm developing. Uh, so I'm nervous but excited. So let's 
jump into it. Okay, it is 11.37 and I just finished, here comes a car. And I just finished the second scene of chapter one. So chapter one is complete. I definitely found the second scene much more difficult to write. It was just a little bit longer than the first scene, but I found it hard because I was meeting new characters. All the characters in this scene were totally, completely new to me. Um, and it, it's just the process of learning them, learning the way they speak, learning the way that they interact with each other, learning how they feel about themselves and how they feel about the world around them. And that's hard. And typically, uh, for me, I don't really get to know my characters until I've totally finished the first draft. And then by that point, I know them pretty well. So when I go back through and I start doing my edits, that's when their personality starts to shine. So I'm not going to be too hard on myself in this first draft. This is really just about getting all the ideas out there. But uh, let's see how many words I have. So yeah, I finished chapter one. It was two scenes. Let's count them up. So the first scene is 525 words. And the second scene is 671. So that puts me at 1,196 words for the day. Uh, that's really good for, I don't know, maybe I've been in here for, maybe it's not that great. I've been in here for an hour, two hours maybe. Uh, it's slow going with these new characters, but that's to be expected. Um, I do have most of the novel outlined, at least half of it, all the way up to the midpoint I have outlined. And I don't even know if 50,000 words will get me to that midpoint. I'm hoping it will. I'm expecting it will, because I'm expecting this book to be about 100,000 words. Um, so yeah, I'm sitting at almost 1,200 words. Oh my gosh, my soup. I'm heating up my potato soup that I made last night for Salon. And I totally forgot that it's out here. Yep, I burned it. I always do this. I always forget that I have food on the stove and then I burn it. Oh, so not super great um, for the amount of time that I've been in there because I can usually write pretty fast if I know the characters and I know what I'm writing. Uh, yeah, I have all the way up to the midpoint outlined, so it should move relatively smoothly, but getting to know the characters is different. And I'm having to do research along the way about cars and uh, you know, outfits and words that people use because I am writing in a separate time period. This will be my first time writing in a historical time period that's not based on my own creation. Of course, because we're in the fairy world, there will be a world of my own creation, which I am even more excited to dive into, but this first scene was in the normal world. So it was like me getting to actually know what that world looks like. So I'm going to eat that potato soup but I just heated up and almost burned. Maybe play a little bit of Red Dead Redemption and then come back in a little while and get started on chapter two. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, it is 12, 19. I had some lunch. I ate some homemade potato soup with some bread and it was really delicious. But now I wanna get back to writing. Um, so my goal for 1 p.m. is going to be to hit 2,000 words. So I'm sitting at 1,196. Uh, so that means I have to write 804 words, I believe, in order to hit 2,000. So that gives me 40 minutes to write about 800 words. That is 400 words every 20 minutes and 200 words every 10 minutes. So that's quite a lot. Uh, so let's just dive right in and see if I can hit 2,000 words by one o'clock. Let's get started. My goal had been to write like 800 and something words, about 800 words to hit 2,000 words, you know, daily word count so far, by one o'clock. So I stopped writing at 12.55, and now we're gonna tally up how many words I wrote. So in 40 minutes, I wrote 914 words, which is really good. And that puts my total at, so that puts me at 2,110 words. So I achieved my goal of hitting 2,000. I actually wrote 110 words more than that which is phenomenal. So sitting at 2,110, my goal for the day is uh, 5,000. 
So I think I'm going to do one more writing sprint, one or two more writing sprints, relax a little bit. I need to like do the dishes, tidy up the house, get ready for the live stream, and then write more during the live stream. So let's tune off now. Know that I'm at 2,110 words as of 2.45 on day one, and I will check back in with you guys later. All right, bye. Okay, you guys, I am about to hop on a live stream with Brooke Passmore and Mandy Lynn. I am still sitting at 2,110 words, and I want to hit 5K today, so let's see how many I can write during our live stream. Also, homemade applesauce is the best. Literally, three apples, a little bit of water, and two cinnamon sticks. And you just put it in a slow cooker. It's delicious. So, so good. Okay guys, we just finished the live stream. It ended up going quite long, uh, almost three hours. It's after eight o'clock here now. And we started at five. So I've been sitting here for a while. I've been slowly working away on my homemade applesauce and it's really good, but I need a meal. So Greg is gonna be home from work soon. We're gonna go get some vegan food to celebrate World Vegan Day. But I wrote a lot during the live stream. I wrote over 2000 words and my final Word count of the day is like 5,076, I think. My goal for the day was 5,000, so I did it. Today was 5K Thursday. I am really happy with my progress. Um, I am very fortunate because I only had one pet sitting visit today and then Greg did the other one for me, so I definitely had a full day to write. So that really helped get me off to a good start. Um, tomorrow I have a bit more pet sitting, but nothing too crazy. And then with the weekend coming up, I should be able to get some good words in. So I'm going to wrap it up, call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not sure if this will be the end of the video or if I'm going to like merge this with the rest of the week's clips. Uh, so I guess we'll see what happens. If this is the end and I post this, then thank you guys so much for watching. I hope NaNoWriMo is going well for you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.